Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about some more release date details for the upcoming summer DLC, as well as hearing from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 on how Rockstar might be approaching this, when we can expect things like more information, a trailer, and obviously the DLC finally coming out. So ever since Rockstar's uh, latest update, which came out on Thursday, I should say event week update, We've kind of gotten a hint and clue when it looks like Rockstar is going to go about uh, actually introducing the next update. And this has generated a ton of responses from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, who has actually had a lot to say regarding what is going on. Because the event week is kind of confusing. A lot of the discounts, bonuses, and sales end or last until August 5th. But one particular thing, the Lucky Wheel vehicle, lasts until August 10th which would indicate the update would probably come out the following day. So one individual said the social club website says this event week will last until August 5th. What is going on? And he said, it's a weird case. I myself not sure what to make of it. Even though the two times on survivals that appear on the loading screen is up for two weeks, I feel like Rockstar is following the usual, not rising any suspicions, but then the podium car says ends August 10th. It makes you wonder if we are getting a new event week next week or they are just going to give it time until they decide to extend it. Maybe by that time we would have a new article or something confirming the release date. I believe a similar case happened on Red Dead Online with the event that preceded the new update. The same event was extended and it was weird, only for us to be informed that a new update is coming. Alright, so let's break that down. Tez Funds 2 is right. We first have this weird event week going on where some of the things are ending on August 5th, others are ending on August 10th, which would indicate that the update would come out the following day on the 11th. But this is actually something that Red Dead Redemption did. And as you guys know, its update has been out for a couple of days now. So what happened is, two weeks before the update was supposed to arrive, Rockstar had a weird event that was extended for some specific reason. And then during that week in which the event was extended, we heard from Rockstar obviously make their big announcement that Red Dead Online was getting its update on July 28th and Grand Theft Auto Online's update would follow that in the weeks to come. So the interesting thing here will be to see if Rockstar follows the same pattern since we just got the weird announcement of the Grand Theft Auto Online event week. During this upcoming week is this when we'll see something like information, more screenshots, an official release date, a trailer on what... Rockstar is going to announce. I wish I could tell you guys for certain I had a better idea of what Rockstar is doing. They don't seem to follow any sort of pattern whatsoever, which makes it very frustrating trying to figure out on what day you could expect this or that and when the update will arrive. Right now, we're just sort of following the only clues that they've really given us. Now, we hear a bit more from Insider Tez Funds 2, a bit of follow up as to what everything else was going on throughout the week. Someone ended up asking, do we have a date for the event weekend on the Newswire? I have not seen it. And the confusing part is, is it's just the podium vehicle that ends on August 10th. So again, it makes you wonder what happens when next Wednesday and Thursday rolls around, the 5th and the 6th. Is Rockstar going to do like a shortened event weekend that only lasts on the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, and then the update coming out on the 11th? What are they going to do? Hopefully by that point in time, we actually have some concrete information on what Rockstar is up to with this event week. Again, some more things that make me feel pretty optimistic here. Someone ended up saying, so they're switching back to Tuesdays now. Hmm. Wouldn't it make more sense of the announcement was on the 11th? And Tez Funds 2 said the event that preceded the casino update ended on a Tuesday, and that's when we received the update. I would presume the same thing happens with this event. So what he's talking about all the way back in 2019, a little over a year ago, is the update right before the Diamond Casino and Resort came out ended on Tuesday, which means that on Wednesday, the DLC ended up arriving. So Rockstar tries to do their best to not tip their cap what they're doing. But again, I think it's very obvious here with what's happening with the podium vehicle that everything is lining up for them to release it on August 11th. At least that's my thinking. I still don't think Rockstar is going to switch back to Tuesdays just because they have Red Dead Online to balance as well, and that's when I feel like they're going to continue to update 
that game. They'll still have GTA updates on Thursday. Uh, but for whatever reason, Rockstar might just want to put out like an actual downloadable content on a Tuesday. And that's actually a great segue because Tez Funds 2 explains why that might happen. He said, I'm still considering a Tuesday release, and it's more probable now that the event ends on a Tuesday. It makes more sense that way, gives them time to pluck out critical bugs. So just like many of you guys, Rockstar has like a five-day work week, Monday through Friday. And so naturally, if they release an update on a Tuesday, it gives them all day Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in order to work out anything that could be like game-breaking or that like they have to fix immediately. Whereas if they do something on Thursday, they've really only got the rest of Thursday and Friday to fix something. In fact, I think it was one of the last couple of updates that actually had to have like an emergency patch put out like a day or two after it released. I don't remember if it was the Diamond Casino and Resort or the Diamond Casino Heist, but I definitely remember like either the servers were super bad or there was something like super buggy and game breaking that they like had to fix immediately. So that's what I'm thinking that Rockstar could be up to as well with a Tuesday release. Now again, some more follow-up as to what's going on. We heard from Insider Tez Funds 2 again who said, I think we can all agree there's a high chance of getting the open wheel race creator, right? It's a clear pattern. They add a creator mode with one update but without the button to enable it, only to add it in the following update. And if you guys are wondering what that reveal hidden content is, it's actually a picture of like the go-kart from GTA San Andreas, which would actually be a really fun vehicle. Like if I had to take a guess how Rockstar would implement that, it would probably be like some RC car they would add into the game. But either way, that would be like such a fan favorite to add the go-kart back from San Andreas. Knowing Rockstar, they'd probably make it like weaponized and put these wings on it. So uh, I'm sure it'll be a little bit different from the one from that game. Now, it looks like there's also some hidden content that we may never get. Rockstar added these in the Diamond Casino and Resort and Heist DLCs. And they're actually like these RC car models that were supposed to be used as penthouse decorations, but they were never released for whatever reason. And he responded to someone that was asking about that. And he said, yes, there are hidden RC models of some existing cars as penthouse decorations, but I don't think those hold any value of significance to future updates. Unless, of course, Rockstar want to add them into this update because remember what they've said so far that the new update is just going to be like a mixed bag of goodies, like an array of fun things to do. I feel like one of those things could be like, hey, here's some new penthouse decorations. Enjoy. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I'm, I'm getting a bad feeling that that might be what Rockstar is up to here. So again, we may see those in the future. We might not for now, best assume it's just cut content. And we also heard from Tez Funds 2 on Twitter, responding to a user who said, Newswire is giving conflicting dates. Podium Vehicle Image says it ends August 10th, but the event page on Social Club says ends August 5th. So who's lying, LOL? And he said, it's weird. I think Rockstar is playing the nothing out of the ordinary card until we get closer to August 11th, which would suit the timing of a release date reveal. I don't think it suits them to make reveals and an event article. And that was one of the things that I was a little bit disappointed with, with the event week post, that we didn't hear anything from them, even at the very bottom. But I guess Rockstar wanted to make it like totally a part of a separate newswire and not connected to like the bonuses, discounts, and sales that we're gonna be getting throughout the week. The only thing that's a little bit worrying is they kind of just dropped the Red Dead Online update out of nowhere. Like they gave us about four days a heads up, but they didn't really tell us really what the update was going to be about. I'm hoping that's not the case here. They did that really last previously with the Arena War update. And I wasn't a huge fan of like having a Newswire article and then like four hours later, the update coming out. I like to get, you know, time to prepare, get hype for the update itself. So hopefully Rockstar gives us a bit of time for that. So hopefully some good information is coming soon. It looks like all signs are pointing to like the next 7 to 14 days to be really exciting here in GTA Online. As always, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted if any new information arrives or if we, of course, officially hear from Rockstar. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. When do you think the summer 2020 update is going to arrive? When do you think we're going to be getting new information, a trailer, all that good stuff? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.